Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on Where the Hunter, we're at the brand new reserve, Lintakuto, and we're going to be going on a wild boar hunt in a thunderstorm <laughs> and lightning. It's all around me, and I love hunting like this, but it's not very often uh, I do videos like this, so uh, looking forward to it. But yesterday, I went on an epic trek for this wild boar, and it kept out foxing me. So I'm hoping today. We don't get struck by lightning and we get this monster wild ball. So let's take a look at the map and where he's located. For those of you that's got Lintakutu Reserve, the new map for Way to Hunter, let me know in the comments what your hunting's been like. Have you been having fun? I must say it's a bit more like Transylvania feel to me. This sort of like open areas, but there's a lot of dense forests where you've got to really hunt as well. And uh, I must say, like I say, wild boar hunting on here is going to be amazing. So that's why we're doing it today. I spotted a five star, which I'm hoping we can actually catch up with. He was throwing me off yesterday and uh, I spent an hour, right, tracking him down. And I was slow walking for like 30 minutes just to get a perfect shot on him. But the brush was so thick, the vegetation, that I just couldn't get the shot off. And I finally needed just to get in. A little tree stand and I would have been able to get the perfect shot and I just put my foot on the bottom rung of the ladder and he bolted <laughs> never to be seen again so that's what happened yesterday when I first spotted him um, I was exploring this area I wasn't actually looking for wild boar I was actually looking for wolverines I found some locations where they are but that's one of my top species I want to hunt yesterday I went for the links so check that video out if you've already seen it. it was a long video i'm going to be doing some of these long videos while i've got the time to do it i like to do this one as a new map for way to hunt i like to do realistic hunts and we just get what we get it's all about the hunting so we're in the thunderstorm we're in the lightning storm <laughs> we're after a monster wild boar uh, we've just got to find him and uh, dodge all the other animals that's all around us you get roe deer fallow deer moose wild boar in this area so there's quite a lot of different animals brown bear so while we're talking about animals let's go on to the species list for lintakutu reserve so you've got arctic fox brown bear eurasian badger eurasian moose eurasian wolverine european hare european rabbit fallow deer gray wolf gray leg goose mouflon Mountain reindeer, northern lynx, pheasant, red deer, red fox, roe deer, wild boar, which we're hunting today, and wild duck. So there's plenty to go. <laughs> there's no uh, shortage of animals, but it's definitely sort of like a a Transylvania feel. Now, if you haven't hunted Transylvania, it's a lot harder, right? as I was saying earlier in the video. And there's a lot of thick vegetation to wander through, but you definitely feel like you're hunting. And then you find these open areas. And then you hope to glass and, sp and spot animals in those areas. Sometimes what I do is, if I know an animal is in a thick vegetation, I might spook them on purpose, try and push them out of it to see if they run to sort of open areas. It works well sometimes, and other times it don't. <laughs> it's worth a go. <laughs> now, in this update, there's a brand new weapon which we're going to be using today, the Remington 700 CDL. It's a 3006 Springfield. So that's what we're going to be taking out the wild boar with today. Tier 5, uh, depends on the bullets with the new ammo update. Certain guns can be uh, like a level up or a level down based on what bullets you choose. So the ammo update is really big. I've seen some people saying there's not much in this update. The ammo update alone is massive. So you've got to look at what you're using, your bullets and everything. And now you've got a lot more options of what you can hunt with. And the good thing about the ammo change is... It saves you having to carry two guns sometimes because you can go a tier below or a tier up just on the ammo you can choose now. So that's a great thing that's happened to Way the Hunter and I love that in the update. But yeah, we're going to be using the Remington 700 CDL on this wild boar. So first time using it, see how it pans out. Now the wild boar, they feed and rest at two spots on my left. So that's why we're circling around right. Hopefully going to catch them in an open area now this is where they're feeding i thought it might be around here but the resting area is over the far left so what i'm thinking of doing is this is a river 
just where I'm sort of looking. I'm looking for animals as well, but there's a river down there. I might go to the river and just follow the river up and hopefully catch them on my left. Yeah! <laughs> I love catching the lightning. I don't know if you're like me, but I love thunderstorms. I love lightning. I can sit there and watch them for hours. Um, <laughs> it's really showed off now. This is why I wanted to do the hunt in this. I know it might be a bit harder than normal to hear them because of the cracking of the thunder and the lightning, but it's realistic and I love this. This is one of the things I like about Whale Hunter. Um, so uh, we're just having fun hunting. That's where I first spotted them. That's why my UTVs over there. So I've left it there as sort of kind of like a marker. So what we're going to do is get down to this river, hopefully not spook them, and fingers crossed we can actually get a decent shot. They stayed in the brush all the time when I was hunting them yesterday. I just could not get a clean shot. And I'm not going to risk ruining a five-star trophy just for the rush of blood. So hopefully we can take it out. The only thing with big herd animals, especially wild boar, is they intermingle with each other through the brush. So if they're in thick brush, it's hard enough to see them. When they're intermingling constantly in between each other, it's hard to like, you have to spot it and get the shot off. And normally by the time you spot them, pull your rifle up to take the shot, they've already intermingled. So you can't see which is the one you're after. This is why we could do with spotting in scopes as well, really. Um, you could glass up, see that's the one you're after. You ain't gonna drop it down, get your binos out and do that again, do you know what I mean? If you could just spot it through your scope, um, that would be a nice touch. Have you taken part in the story yet? Let me know in the comments. I'm just hunting for a start. I don't wanna do the story too quick um, because I know some people haven't done it so i don't want to spoil it but if you want me to do the story well into kutu reserve let me know in the comments and i'll get on with it like i say i do love the stories i've done most of them on most reserves i've had a lot of fun i think the last one i did was matriki park i really enjoyed that and um what was the one before that i did ticker moon plains so yeah i do like doing the stories but i don't generally do them straight away when a new map comes out because i don't want to ruin it for everyone i want you to get on and have your own experiences of that first but uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out. I'll definitely be doing that and we'll do some videos on it. But today is all about wild boar. I think we'll be hunting either Arctic Fox or Wolverine in the next video. They're the ones I've been looking at. I found some Arctic Foxes, uh, some great locations. So we'll be after those soon. Wolverines, I found a few locations for them. But they're being a bit sneaky. <laughs> While we're sneaking down this river, let's go over the patch notes. The previous ones I had wasn't complete. They added some more things yesterday. So let's go over the complete patch note update list. So version 1.26, this is for all platforms. So paid DLC, you've got Lintkutu Reserve, the new map. They've added alternative Nikau's outfit, added companion, a new skin for the off-road vehicle, added Wispy Shotgun, a reward for the story mission. Added the Remington model 700 CDL rifle, the 306 Springfield, which we're hunting with right now. They've added the ammo change feature. I covered that in great detail yesterday. Check that video out if you've seen it. They've tweaked the internal ballistics of slugs to better represent real life performance. They've tweaked the Xbox Series S visual issues with foliage in performance mode. Fixed character seating position in the Kawasaki Mule. Fixed the Between the Hooves task in Nez Perce Valley being finishable with the Steyr Manlisha CL2. They fixed the Warpaint vehicle model being slightly slower than other off-roads. Fixed a rare instance of blocked progress during the mission Begon Bandito in Matriki Park. They fixed multiplayer players' exploration markers being displayed in incorrect locations. They fixed map filter label toggles being only available in Nez Perce Valley and Transylvania. Fixed a rare occurrence of young Alaskan moose spawning with one antler. They fixed rivers appearing in the sky after changing the video mode on consoles. Fixed incorrect cartridge description for the stair scout in the encyclopedia. Fixed brake action shotguns not being able to fire with one shell after fast travel. Known issues, wind does not affect external ballistics. Visual issues with whiskers, ears and chin on the Northern Lynx, Lindkutu Reserve. So, 
there you go there's the update for 1.26 on all platforms i thought i'd go over that because like i say the last one i did in the last video um they've added some more fixes to it uh since yesterday so i hope you enjoy that and uh, let me know how it's going right we're getting close to where we need to be now i know it might seem a long way of what we've had to do but you do have to work out a game plan when you're after certain trophies and where they are in certain areas like I say, this is in a tricky area. I've got to try and catch them in the open, but they're often in the brush. So I've got to sort of like ambush them or catch the wild boar in sort of an open area. That's what I'm hoping. But they should be close by now. I know they rest in two spots where I've already got marked on my left and we're very close to them. Uh, that's why I'm really slow walking now. What I tend to do is get about 250 meters away from where I need to be. Then I'll start this, the super slow walk. Uh, while crouching and generally you don't spook things uh, doing this unless they're super close it takes a long time we could do with like a in-between one with like normal walk and the slow walk and then just like a, a, a more gradual one I would like that but as you can see they're very close so I've got to be like this or they're gonna run they're gonna bolt off and like yesterday <laughs> I'm gonna spend hours just trying to track them down again just to probably get the same shot in the brush again. So uh, we're going to take our time. This is a thing. Sometimes you get the rush of blood and you're like, I don't want to wait anymore. I'm excited. I, you know what I mean? I just want to shoot the animal. I don't want to walk this slow. So you, you push, you sit, run off, and you should have just waited those extra few minutes. Took your time. And you know this. You know it. As soon as you start running or moving fast and you spook them, you're like, I knew I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I've done it myself. Don't worry about it. I do it myself. Um, but you just got to be patient. Get to the right area. Try and form like a game plan. How you're going to approach the area. Where they are in the need zones. Also, I think a lot of people like where the hunter. Just because of this. You've got to hunt. It's not just like a point, shoot, done. Point, shoot, done. Everywhere you go. You have to actually hunt. And uh, I think a lot of people appreciate this. And that's why they like it and uh i've got to move somewhere right he won't shut up <laughs> i'm not after you moose i'm not interested no one else but this wild boar i want to get it it took me ages to get a five star wild boar my first one uh got it at matriki park i had one at transylvania uh but it died of old age i was hoping it was gonna make a five star and i really did put in the effort at transylvania to try and get one but it's just not any luck there but uh hoping today fingers crossed we find this one like i say he's, he's a sneaky one <laughs> he is here and look i know they're there in this group there's two groups of wild boar so i'm hoping the group we actually find the right next to each other is the group with the five star in which we'll soon see but the only problem is there's a couple of big dips as you can see and they're resting in one of these areas oh there we go <laughs> right so now the hunt is on we've just got to spot our quarry as you can see they're staying in the brush in the tree line they're not daft <laughs> i just got to find that five star hopefully he's not died i spotted him yesterday and um we're only fast forwarded once so he should be all right i think i hope so fingers crossed but you'll learn so in a minute. And hopefully we don't mess this up. I've just got to try and spot him. Like I say, it's not the easiest area. I was hoping we could get him in this open, you know what I mean, this open grass. But it keeps sticking in those trees. So we're just going to take our time and slowly progress down this river. And just follow the wild boar. I don't want to spook him. I'm trying to get the in-between walk. But the thing is, they're trotting along, so it's hard to keep up with the slowest walk in the wild boar group. They've just got to keep moving. I'm hoping they just keep walking through the forest. And then on my right, you can see there's a little bit of a clearing. Or we can get an area where they just stop to feed or rest. And we can get a good shot. I've not seen the five star yet. So... On this right area here, if they just come, I can just rotate around on this river. If they just come to this open area there, that's ideal. We've got to watch what we're doing. 
I'm trying to just get in front, but I don't want to run too much in case I spook him. This is a, the problem I had yesterday. They're not coming out of the tree line now. We've also got the Remington 700 CDL on, which I haven't tried this rifle yet. So, uh, be interested to see how that plays out. Right. Come on, where's the five star? I'm hoping I'm not following the wrong group. There was two groups here. I'm just hoping the one we're following is, is the right one. But I've not seen him yet. Let's keep an eye out. Come on. Where's the five star? Now, there was going... All the way right, but they seem to be going back left again. Now, I hope they don't just go back that way. That's going to destroy him. <laughs> then he went in the water then. Come on. I, I haven't even seen him yet either. He was here. I hope he ain't died of old age. There's no yes, 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 yes. Right, right, right. We're on him now. That's why I love this game. I've just been looking at those for five minutes as you've just been seeing and... I just thought we was on the wrong group, but yes, we're finally on the right group. We know the five star's still alive. Now we've just got to take him out. Please come in the open. There's one out on my right, and a few look like they're coming this way. So the plan could work. We've just got to get a clean shot on this five star wild ball. The thing is, they intermingle, groups do, and wild ball, they don't stay still for long. So I'm hoping we can get him on his own. He walks out to the right or left, stands out, and we get a clean shot on him. But the thing is, like I say, you, you scope up like I'm doing now with the binos. By the time you've changed your rifle, he's already moved and intermingled with a group. And you might end up shooting the wrong one. Of all the species that's at Lintakutu Reserve, what's your favourite species you've seen up to yet? Let me know in the comments. I think up to yet, the ones that are most interesting to me are Lynx, the Arctic Fox, and the Eurasian Wolverine. I think they're the three top ones I'm excited to hunt. But what I'm finding is the actual hunting here is better than a lot of other reserves. There's a lot of brush. You've got to hunt. And uh, that's what I enjoy about Way the Hunter. I've actually got to hunt. Uh, I can take my time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting on to the Arctic Foxes soon and the Wolverines. Right, are you going to come into the open or what? It really is making me work for this. Come on, Mr. Wild Boar. Where's the five star? I definitely will have earned this by the time I get him, if I get him. But I do love these hunts when they're like this. What's your favourite reserve out of all the reserves... What's your favourite map on Way to Hunter? Let me know in the comments. There's also news that possible rares could be coming soon. They could be in the works. So Miriam, part of the NRG team, was suggesting about that in Way to Hunter Discord. Join that if you're not already a member. Also, that there is a new roadmap in the works, which a lot of people are so excited about, including me. I'm excited about the new roadmap because it shows the future uh, projections, what people think about. Is that one more? Give me a second. That I think that's him. We're going to take a shot at that one. I think that's a five star. Like I said, could really do with the spotting info in your scopes. So we've shot one. I'm hoping that's the five star. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It looked like it was him. We got him finally in the open or an area to get shot. But yeah, new roadmap is on the way. Can't wait to see what's in that roadmap for the future. Like I say, that will give a lot of people um, a lot of excitement learning about that. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, yes, can't wait to see the new roadmap. What will be in it? What will be in it content wise? What would you like for Way to Hunter in the future? I think for me, rather than a new map next, I'd like lots of rares adding. Right, imagine just 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 get loads of rare animals in there for trophies. Uh, add loads of those. Maybe a random antler system. That alone, those two in one big update would be amazing. But yeah, I don't know. Like I say, what's going to be in the roadmap? Be interesting to see how that works out. But it's just nice to hear that that is coming in the future soon.
Right, time to track. Now, if you're a new player, look at these marks. Take a clean shot if you can, and they often point in a certain way. If you look at the blood, there's sort of like almost an arrow point on the little strips of blood, and it's a case of just following those. It's just a little tip that some people might find uh, helps them, because like when you first start out, the tracking in this can be quite hard or seem like it, but once you get used to it, it's just down to your gut instinct and uh, going where you feel it might be. Just take your time. And like I say, the most important thing is getting a clean shot in the first place. So you ain't got to run around the map trying to find a badly wounded animal. But it does happen. You see a big trophy animal. You get the rush of blood. The quick gun, as I call it. And uh, you just crack one off without even thinking about it. And then you know straight away an instant regret. You should have just waited a few seconds and got that perfect shot that you could have got. Um, but it was just a rush of blood. But here we go. The fingers crossed. It is the five-star wild boar we've been chasing. Nice clean shot in the lungs. So the 700 CDL has done its job, the Remington. I wasn't sure how it performed, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Done the job. Nice clean shot. And I can't wait to see now. Is it the five-star? It is. Look at those genetics. Oh, what well, is a monster? That is a monster five star wild boar. 99.99 .99 genetics. You don't get much bigger than that, do you? That's like the ultimate wild boar. That's the ultimate five star wild boar. Look at that. I'm glad we took the time to get that because that is a monster wild boar. It's the biggest one I've ever seen or got. So, uh, yeah, what an amazing hunt. And how it's turned out. I didn't think it would be that good. Look at his trophy score. Exact 500. So there you go. Perfect wild boar. Perfect five star wild boar. What better trophy can you add to your trophy lodge than a perfect five star? So what an epic hunt. And what an epic result. I'm really buzzing. And Lintakutu Reserve has gave up the goods. Let's have a quick look close up at the models. I do like to look at these. And just show you how detailed they are. How much effort the NRG um, game devs put into this. I have got to say, I'm absolutely buzzing with this wild boar. Like I say, I've only had one before, but I've not had a monster like this. Like I say, that's absolutely perfect for the trophy lodge. I do like big trophy animals, but it's not my main, you know what I mean, a main drive in Way the Hunter. It's all about the hunt. But when you do get trophies like that as well, and you have a brilliant hunt, it's like the cherry on the cake, isn't it? It's perfect. Right. So we've got our new trophy. Let's go have a look at the new trophy lodge for Lintakutu Reserve. So here we are. Another trophy to go in the trophy lodge. It's nothing better than that feeling. I love it. But uh, like I say, it's a bonus to get one. But Wolverine's probably going to be next or Arctic Fox. Let me know in the comments what you want to see me hunting. Like I say, I go down in the comments. I chat to everyone I can. And uh, like I say, if I see a, a theme that's developing and a lot of people are like saying, oh, go hunt this, Ron, go hunt that, then that's what's happening. So stick it in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's a lot of people I meet on all different discords and then uh, they're saying like, oh, I don't know how to do this, do that. And I give them one of my video links and they're like, I've been watching you for years. How did I not know it was you? Well, hit that subscribe button and uh, you won't have that problem again. But yeah, I have it all the time. So we just got to find a nice trophy spot where to put our new monster perfect five-star wild boar. Should we put him on here? Can we put him on there? I don't know what these trophy mounts are about because I've not checked any of them. So you're seeing them for the first time just like me. But it seems to be quite a few multi-mounts. Also, you can add females on some of them as well, which is cool. But I have no idea what is what. So we're just checking them out. I'm going to find one for Wild Boar and then stick him down. What's this one for? Let's have a look. Looks like pairs. But yeah, Wild Boar. So two Wild Boars fighting. What's perfect than that? <laughs> Can't get any more better. So that'll do. Hopefully, we can get another decent Wild Boar to fight with the other one another five star but yep what an epic hunt at Lintakutu reserve our second hunt and we've got a perfect monster wild boar 
five star i can't believe it like i say absolutely amazing hunt with a great ending and that's what it's all about on way the hunter just having fun having a great hunt and hopefully getting a good trophy along the way so i'm at tube we've been hunting at lin takutu reserve got a monster five star wild boar hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my youtube channels and thanks for watching bye bye